There's a brand new approach to physical therapy in Cape May. F-Y-Z-I-C-A-L or Physical is a physical therapy franchise leading the charge transforming health care from one of sick care to well care, providing services focused on quality outcomes, total well-being and prevention. That's important in, in a stress environment. Many people under stress, but physical therapy starts with a stress-free environment, and that's what they have at Fiscal, according to Director Dr. Mitch Ackerman. Having my own place gave me the opportunity to provide therapy in a relaxed environment. And a lot of the people going into physical therapy these days, they go through internships. So they go to these places where their internship may keep patients for maybe an hour at most. Even sometimes when you try to hire a therapist, they're used to that environment. So you have to treat the, the whole body, not just maybe a joint, for example. And pretty much where whenever anybody goes to a therapy place for when they have a script, say for a for example, for other body part, they usually have to stick to that body part. In my case, I try to go beyond that. For example, the leg, it, it doesn't exist by itself. They need to be able to move their leg upon a solid flat, flat floor. So if they've got a, a core that's not functioning properly, then train, get that brain connected to those muscles to provide stability so that when they walk or they can have a stable platform by which to swing their leg through as a normal. Obviously, when you look at these these situations, much of the therapy needs an environment that is de-stressed. Your willingness to spend uh, so much time with a patient is so critical, something we don't see much today. Talk about that mind-body connection. There is a huge connection that way because I was doing some seminars called Train Your Brain to Reduce Your Pain. There is actually a video on my website which discusses that. And attitude is key when you're doing therapy. People who do best in physical therapy be in my clinic are the ones who have the best attitude and part of my job is to encourage and, and tease out that attitude because it really makes a difference. I've had patients that you know they've had histories of chronic pain and when you have something for that long you, you, it's called the dark side of bioplasticity basically. Bioplasticity basically deals with anything that you do enough times repeatedly you get good at it. Well the brain gets really good at feeling pain it just repeats it enough and every negative input that comes in is going to have an effect on perpetuating that pain. Even when a physician reads a diagnostic study to a patient and they don't follow up what they say as well, it doesn't necessarily mean it's causing your pain. Sometimes they just say, well, look, you've got bony spurs, you've got this degeneration, you've got this and you've got that. And the study, they don't bother to take it to the next step and say, well, the studies show that a lot of people who have these things don't necessarily have pain. And my biggest concern is how they respond to what we do. So I refocus them that way. And they have a better understanding not to be so focused on those things. Along with education and them having a good understanding of what we're doing, we have a very jovial and festive environment. We're joking all the time as well. So if people laugh, I think mean, that's just it. And it's just a very relaxed environment. People are much more willing to do what you want them to do in that kind of environment. If people are interested in, in getting involved with your physical organization, where are you located and how will they get in touch with you? And what is their next procedure, next step in this process? Physical is actually a franchise company and although I've had the company myself and I actually built it myself to where it is now because of the changing environment I felt it would be better to team up with a company like this where we can coordinate and be involved with other franchise owners throughout the country we get online for example we converse with each other we educate each other to give each other ideas marketing ideas and we share things and it's all designed to help one another provide some top quality care a lot of the private practices are being pushed out because a lot of hospitals throughout the country are consolidating services and they are steering all the business to, toward themselves. I'm, one of my endeavors is to educate the population that they don't just have to go with a doctor who sends them. They should make their own choice. And I say, come in for a free consultation. If you, those who compare us with the rest will choose us. Because they, they can come in and they'll see exactly what we have. I'm a private practice, but I'm better equipped than any other facility in the region. And my office is a huge but it can accommodate what we have, and it, and it works out actually quite quite well. Physical is is a franchise. They they basically help support the practices throughout the country, so we can all work together and build something together that is at least still owned by physical therapists primarily. Doctors are most of them are now employed by other entities in the hospitals. On a, you know there's a, they, and there's a synthesis project done a study, and they they've shown that you know consolidation does not 
actually save money, does not improve quality of care. If anything, it just gives the hospitals more leverage to get reimbursed what they want to get reimbursed. So whatever plans they had, it's kind of backfiring on them, but the, the, the hospitals are benefiting. I mean, you got to figure, and they're out, you know, asking for donations. I got a letter after my child was born at the hospital asking for donations. And I'm like, yeah, you want me to donate so that I can help put myself out of business, right? When, when you donate to an entity like that, you want them to put it to good use rather than helicoptering people out to all these other hospitals. You know, you should be doing hospital things because to be quite frank with you, there was no need for hospitals throughout the country to be going into areas that were well taken care of, well filled. Primary care physicians throughout the area with plenty full rehab centers, these several thousand physical therapy owned centers I know went under because of the, these consolidations. But what I've done is I made quality my priority and my practice has survived over the years because of other patients, referring other patients. And fortunately, I do have other physicians who send people to me. I do have, of course, independent physicians as well as some from other entities and corporations and, and hospitals who know what we do, so they want their patient to get the best care, so they will send them to me. All in all, they have pressure to send people to themselves. And I've had some people confide in me that, you know, that's the name of the game there. That's, that's what's happening. They're taking advantage of what apparently they've been allowed to do, so I don't blame them necessarily because they're doing what they think they need to do. But it really is monopolistic, and it really and I know they're having a lot of problems out in uh, Carolina. The healthcare system's being sued right now because of monopolistic activities, and the impact of the lawsuit can have ripples throughout the entire country. And if you Google search some of this stuff out in the Carolina healthcare system, you'll see what's happening over there. And quite frankly, that, that could spread to other areas as well because you really can't have that kind of a setup and, and provide quality care and save and reduce costs. The hospitals are gaining leverage because they're owning everybody. So I'm lucky to still be around, quite frankly, under the circumstances. But I do know other people who have had a close-up shot, but I'm doing what I can to stick it out because I don't want to really want to be in the field if I, if I can't do therapy the way I know it needs to be done. Dr. Mitch, obviously, uh, one of the big concerns today is physical therapy when it comes to sports medicine. How impacting are, even in local communities, schools, and so forth, do you see a lot of patients, kids coming in with physical injuries that need that kind of therapeutic and one-on-one -on -one concern? Well, there is a need for it, there, but I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I mean, they're, they're, most of those people are going to the a lot of the big entities because that's, you know, that's the way the system is set up. I get them mostly through word of mouth, but I don't have the pathway to treat as many of those types of patients as I would like to because of the way the system is involved overall. I have access to whoever I have access to. That could change a bit depending on if I open up other locations that might be more conducive for something like that. I do have people traveling a distance to come to my office, but that's, again, pretty much word of mouth. You might also take into account that all the different entities out there have special arrangements with one another. I don't want to mention names or anything, but I know that there will be a big corporation who provides physical therapists to an orthopedic uh, entity, and the orthopedic entity will in turn pay them a management fee. The physicians get to bill, make money. I don't know. It, I mean, pretty much it's like a gift, you know, like a gift towards. And then in turn, they may send their patients, pay the management fee. And of course, if a patient doesn't live within the close proximity of their facility, then they're likely to send them to their partner's facility. I guess some are more dogmatic about few patients going to their own facilities and others are not as concerned about it. But this where you have a physician's group that make deals with the corporations and then another is a situation where the, the physicians become employees. And certainly those who are employees are going to have some sense of, are going to have an obligation to send patients to their own place. Patients have a right to make a choice that I'm trying to get people educated. So it's not the day and age in which you can just go where your doctor says. You have to actually visit the place and make your own choice because take into consideration their affiliation with the entity they're sending you to. Where are you physically located, your your offices, and how will people listening to this be able to get in touch with you to make an appointment? Well, my office is located at 650 Town Bank Road, Suite 
3 North Cape May. Our phone number is 609-884-9800, and our website is capemayphysicaltherapy.com. You can spell physical the correct way, the normal way, or you can spell it the way we spell it. F-Y-Z-I-C-A-L. Spell different because we are different. capemayphysicaltherapy.com. 609-884-9800. He's got a big heart, and he's our Wibbage Weekend hometown.